Hi everyone, I'm JD from Willow Bound Journals and for today's video I am taking you thrifting again with me. We're going to be looking for some vintage and antique goodies for junk journals and this shop is called Butlers. It is in Melbourne in the Dandenongs and it's in a suburb called Olinda. That was some beautiful French wallpaper and look at that lovely letter holder with some envelopes in there. So I'm going to take you around this shop and show you all the different stalls. It's similar to the other shop I took you to um, called Market Fair in Ferntree Gully. This one has a lot of different stalls, different owners and different cabinets and little, little stalls where different people find different goodies and so they might have different themes some are more sewing themed some are more home decor themed um, some are more glassware themed so you'll see all of that um, showing you some of the cabinets at the front of the shop that we've got lots of these beautiful ceramics and glassware plates jewelry and I was having a look at the Aurora Borealis crystal necklaces they're so pretty I'm always on the lookout for one because my grandma I've talked about her before on my channel my kindred spirit um, we used to create together and go thrifting together and I used to rummage through her jewelry when I was a kid um, and she had one of these necklaces that had the aurora borealis crystals and it was so pretty I loved how it shone um, and glittered with rainbows in the light. It was my favorite necklace of hers. And uh, so I always keep my eye out for one that is similar. Um, I didn't pick one up today, even though they did have a few of them at the shop. They weren't quite the same style as my grandma's. Um, this one is my favorite stall out of the entire shop. Look at it, so gorgeous. Um, there's a lot of vintage French goodies in here, lots of postcards, tea cards, ephemera, letters, envelopes, that kind of thing. And I go back to that one later. Usually what I do when I go to these types of shops is I'll walk around the entire shop, have a look around, and I'll remember the stalls that have something that I'd like to pick up. Look at those gorgeous postcards too. They were stunning. Usually when I go to Melbourne, um, I'm always looking for postcards. Every single place that I go to, I will always look for postcards. They're one of my favorite, favorite supplies to add to journals because my favorite type of ephemera to add is authentic, original, vintage and antique ephemera. Um, and usually when I go to Melbourne, um, I do find some postcards, but not many. Um, I think every single time I have found some, but this time I was so surprised. Pretty much every single place I went to had postcards. And not only that, but each place had a lot of them. So I was just blown away. It's really hit or miss whenever you go thrifting. You just never know what they'll have. Um, and I just love that sort of treasure hunt. So here's another little alcove that is just chock full of things. Um, you kind of have to rummage through to find the treasures. And depending on how long you spend at the shop, um, you know, you can really find some more treasures because I find if you really take the time to go through things one by one, um, it does take a lot longer, um, but you, you find a lot more. Like if you're just walking through like I did this day, I walked through pretty quickly. Um, there's so much that you will miss, so, so much that you'll miss. Um, just try to look under here because I can see a whole basket of doilies, although I am trying to limit um, the amount of doilies that I buy because I just have so many. I have a bit of a weakness for embroidered doilies with florals. Um, but yeah, I used to, when I first started junk journaling, I would get anything and everything. Um, but now I have to be much more selective because my room is, you know, it's small. It doubles as my bedroom as well as my office and my craft space. So I'm very limited in my space and I arrange things so that everything has its place. Um, so there's really not much room for anything else. 
Um, I try to declutter continually and if I do bring something in, it means I have to make something with what I've already got or um, give it away in a um, mystery pack for the Beyond Blue fundraiser or give it away as a freebie with an order. And usually, you know, some people have that rule if you bring one thing one new thing into your house you get rid of one old thing so I try to take that philosophy into my crafting supplies uh in in some way or like whether it yeah whether I make a journal with the item whether I donate it um or whether I part with it because I find that if I keep it for long enough I eventually am ready to like get rid of it (laughs) whether that is yeah a journal through a journal or um, passing it on to someone else. Um, I always look for little golden books and I did manage to find one golden book here and it was Heidi. So I've already shared a bit of a haul video on my channel where I shared everything that I got in Melbourne and for my beautiful members I shared a full flip through of every single little golden book that I got and just talked about why I got them and my plans for those books. Um, so Heidi is just one of those books that has stunning imagery with flowers and nature. So I'm always on the lookout for Heidi books with beautiful illustrations. So continuing to take you around this shop, here's another lovely one with some really old newspaper and this really old book. Look at that. I love the look of the pages kind of sticking out. (laughs) It's so, so cool. Again, if I was here back when I was first starting out in my junk journal journey I would have jumped at that type of book but I already have quite a few old books like that Um, so now I tend to look for books that have illustrations if it doesn't have illustrations I, I generally won't get it and in particular I'm looking for color illustrations Uh, So this one is another beautiful cabinet, display cabinet at the back here. You've got little figurines. I spied the um, (laughs) the postcards there. And there were just, yeah, so many stores had postcards this time. I had to be very selective about which ones I chose. Um, Beautiful old books in there. All different sorts of things. Love the vintage colour illustrations. I came with my friend and she got... A couple of things from here too. She found some old records and she has a record play at home so she collects records and she also got a salt and sh- salt and pepper shaker, a really cute one. Uh, so taking you through here looking at some silver. I found some more ephemera down the bottom. That's usually what I'm looking for is just the paper ephemera pretty much. So I do look for books but it has to be a pretty spectacular book these days for me to get it. Either it has to have like an amazing cover or beautiful illustrations on nearly every page, which those ones are qu- quite hard to find. Um, so other than the books, what I'm looking for are the vintage ephemera. So the postcards, the envelopes, letters, tea cards, swap cards, playing cards, that kind of thing. And so what I did end up getting this time was a bunch of postcards. I got 10 vintage English postcards and I got 10 antique French postcards. And I have, um, I've shared that in the haul video already. And just this week, I went ahead and scanned all of those antique French postcards, the fronts and the backs. And so I will be turning that into a printable kit for my Etsy. And I'll, of course, be sharing that for my beautiful patrons because my Ruby patrons get access to every single digital kit on my Etsy, including every new one that I add each month or so. And um, yeah, I'm not sure if it will be up already by the time this video is on my channel, but I'll be definitely putting that up soon for you guys. So I do have an upcoming video where I go into more detail showing you in particular the vintage and antique haul that I got while I was in Melbourne from various shops. So in that one I go one by one showing you all of the postcards, fronts and backs, as well as flip flip throughs of vintage books that I found and ledgers and um, antique trading cards. Those were stunning 
Here is a vintage postcard book or album. I was hoping that there might be some postcards on the pages, but it just is the base. Still really cool. Has a really cool cover. Um, going up here now, showing you just the other shops or other stalls. This one is more of a sewing themed one or haberdashery, which is really cool. Every time I go to visit this shop, there are different types of stalls. So some really lovely pieces there. Um, taking you through to some of the other cabinets. There was a really old vintage ledger. It was huge. It was super expensive. Um, but yeah, I am always on the lookout for ledgers. Look at these books here. Now these ones I actually would have gotten if they were a bit more affordable, but they were just out of my budget. But these ones are quite stunning. These have the types of covers and the inside papers that I love that I would use to actually, you know, make a journal out of those covers. And then they have some vintage French books there. Um, but what I did end up getting, look at those ones. Oh my gosh, they were way out of my budget, but those were stunning. Um, these are some antique French exercise books and there were four of them. Again, if I had the budget, I would have gotten all four, but I just got two of them and I took them up to the front counter and just asked the lady if I could open them up so I could see inside and that way I could choose which two I would get. Um, and yeah, she let me do that and um, she remembers me from the other times that I visit and she knows that I uh, film a video of this and put it on my channel, so that's quite fun. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this thrifting video and I have a bit of a cold so I must apologise. I've got a bit of a stuffy nose so uh, sorry about my voice <laughs> coming over here to the front counter. They have these gorgeous vintage French seed packets and all sorts of fun ephemera in there. A big thank you to my beautiful patrons who supported me in September. You are wonderful and I appreciate you so much. Thank you for believing in what I do. If you would like to become a patron, my Patreon website is linked down below in the description box and that's where you get access to all my extra videos, including the uh, monthly Making a Journal series videos, Plus, all my printable kits from my Etsy are on my Patreon for the rubies. And depending on your tier level, there's mail that can be sent out to you, little happy mails or journals uh, and that kind of thing. So thank you so, so much for all your amazing, amazing support and words of kindness and encouragement. It means so much to me.